So this is Walter, right? This is the man behind the car here. Um, Walter, so you had a BMW before, right? Yeah, I had another M3 comp. Okay, why'd you get rid of it? Driving. Driving. It, it wasn't. I wasn't about the the daily driving with it. That and was then, a daily. And then, yeah, it was a daily. And then uh, I then I missed it, so I bought another one. So what got you back into a BMW? Because you had a Mercedes, basically uh, yeah. a trader. <laughs> I, I wanted to try the Mercedes out, and I just wasn't uh, happy with the, the power. Okay. You know. And plus, I got to say, the BMW community is a lot better. I don't know. Yes. No, it is. It's, it's definitely, definitely a lot better down here in South Florida. I feel like Mercedes, um, there's not a lot of aftermarket support compared to, like, a BMW community. I'm just yeah. going based on my experience and based on what I know right now, but that's why I see. But yeah. you've been part of the no. both communities. What yeah. do you think about that? Uh, the BMW, Absolutely, a, lot, right? a lot better, yeah. Okay. Yep. So obviously you bought my old wheels. Yeah. You got the brakes painted. That yep. looks good. Um, front bumper was repainted to uh, get rid of the holes. And then today, what are you doing today? Uh, the resonated section of the equal length mid pipe and the transmission service. Okay. Okay. And he's dedicated. He's coming all the way for Port St. Lucie. Yes. That's a far drive. If you guys don't know South Florida and also I would say uh, the mid south, whatever you want to call it. It is an hour drive, hour and yeah, 15. Hour. Exit to exit to about an hour. If there's no traffic, we usually 95 has traffic all the time. So um, we'll film a little bit more about the you know, resonated pipe going into his uh, whole system. And like you heard on the next clip that you're going to hear later, it sounds raspy. And you know, we kind of give you a little insight of what it sounds like. Um, obviously, hearing it in person and also hearing it in video is totally different. So definitely, if you got a chance before you buy an exhaust, I always say this, definitely hear it in person, see how it sounds before you dump thousands of dollars into it. Uh, Walter and I guess I mentioned you a few times on the vlog um, the reason why we want to go for a ride today is because you kind of want to hear what it sounds like with a catalyst downpipe uh, non-resonated equal length mid pipe and the Mad Max so far it's not the recommended spec from active auto work but we're gonna hear a little bit more right now I can hear what you mean, it's a little bit more raspier. If you go straight again, we'll go straight and then we'll uh, probably cut down that block, Dixie. You definitely hear your intakes. Yeah, yeah, the intakes sound nice. Uh, we'll go one more and then make a right. to really describe it I would say like I said it's not recommended from active auto work to go with a catalyst setup along with a non resonated you could definitely hear the little bit more of the RAS it doesn't sound as smooth as we heard it in previous videos but that's why Walter's here again Walter's been coming down to Hollandale Beach Florida to your motor performance uh, how many times were it like 10 times yeah a lot <laughs> like 10 times 
Uh, don't tell his wife or his uh, wife or, or fiance, girlfriend, fiance. fiance. Don't tell his fiance. But um, today, what he's going to be doing is adding a resonated uh, pipe to the equal length setup because, in hindsight, that is the recommended spec from Active Auto Work. Um, I know when you first bought it, you bought it from uh, Chris Tucked, right? His Instagram name, more like a, a Tesla supporter now. Nothing wrong with that, but we noticed that it does sound a little bit raspy. So that's why we're going to be here today um, getting that pipe installed. And then from there, we're just going to basically enjoy it. You know, he's going to enjoy it, actually. Right, so we're here at your motor performance we have walter's car inside as you guys heard earlier uh that combination like i said multiple times the catalyst downpipe along with the non-resonated uh equal like mid pipe is not the right combination that active auto work recommends and i heard it in person it does sound raspy which is why he's here today to put the resonated pipe in and that's just going to change the experience of it because the way he described it and i could concur it sounds more of the jdm honda kind of status uh, the smoothest is not there, so adding this pipe is going to smooth it out. And in the end, we're going to hear how it sounds together. And like I mentioned multiple times, Walter's car has gone zero to the from a 180 uh, change around in the past couple months. All right, so now is the moment of the truth. They just installed the resonated pipes. Walter, you think it's gonna be a big difference? Oh, uh, huge, huge uh, difference. I hope so, because if not, he just spent a lot of money, more money and more time. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna make a big difference. So which downpipe do you have? Uh, VRSF, Catless. VRSF, Catless. You got the equal length mid pipe resonated now, along with the Mad Max exhaust. And what's unique about it, it has dump tubes in the bottom, as you guys saw in the B-roll. So this is a DCT transmission flush, right? Or service, right? Yes. For his vehicle. It's a 2016 uh, competition package? Yeah, competition. So what are we explaining here? So yeah, th this is one of the preventive maintenance that you do, the tranny service. Especially when you're pushing your car, let's say you have it tuned or whatnot. This right here picks up all the metal shavings that come off from the clutches and all the components inside the transmission. So this is the reason why I just gave it a quick wipe just to show you. You see, this is all the metal deposits. metal that were floating around. So when you take care of it, you know you got a new magnet in. There's gonna pick up more. You know, taking the more shavings that you have, it's gonna either clog it up um, and just mess up the whole I yeah. guess, function of it, right? Yeah, correct. So the mag uh, the magnet picks up all the the debris that floats around gets attracted to the magnet right here. Who would have known there's a magnet in your transmission housing, right? <laughs> 
just taught you guys some lessons from uh, your motor performance because he's actually doing a uh, transmission uh, service. I think he's at almost 50,000 miles, so that's roughly around the recommended time to get that done. And he was saying too, he sees himself keeping this car for quite a bit, which is why you want to keep up with the service and which is why he has a passion for BMW because he's going to keep it. So this is the brand new one. Also, you don't you don't use the same old one. You use a, a brand new one. No, nah, yes, yeah, so it comes in with a new one. Okay. New gasket, new pan, everything. Oh, nice. You can give that as a souvenir. <laughs> if you want a piece of, if you want a well, piece of, was a plastic? Piece of plastic. <laughs> Think. Oh, it sounds good. A lot better, right? A lot better. So distinctively, you could you could tell night and day difference. So listen to the guys at Active. Don't think that you know more than them because you're gonna make your car sound bad. Um, but definitely, if you're going with the Catless downpipe, go with the resonated equal length mid pipe, and then do whatever rear exhaust you want to do. He has the Mad Max exhaust. I have the AWE Switch Path exhaust. Both exhausts are valved. Different tones here and there. In the long run, you're gonna have more of a smoother tone throughout the range on the Mad Max exhaust, what he has. And on mine, you have a nice deep tone on the AWE uh, switch path. And then as you accelerate, it's gonna be smooth. But overall, what do you think, man? Oh, that sounds good. Can't wait to drive it. And it's gonna be the true test. I Just hearing him rev it now, like, what do you think about the smoothness now? Do you, do oh, you, do you see it? Yeah, no. 100%. So it's a lot smoother. Comparing it to the videos that I filmed before in the past and comparing it here and in person, what, what would you say? Oh, person sounds so much better. So much better, lot, right? Oh, a lot clearer. Video takes a lot out. So we'll definitely go on a ride and we'll see how it sounds and kind of compare contrast and hopefully you guys can hear the difference. If you guys can hear the difference, let me know in the comments. That sounds good. <laughs> Can't complain. All right, so we're gonna go for a ride again in Walter's car and see how it sounds from inside and also maybe we'll get a drive-by. No more Honda.
so just sitting in the car with uh, Walter, we did a couple polls. Um, we, he did a poll outside, when I was actually outside the car and it sounded pretty great. The biggest change is obviously how smooth it is now. And he's excited with it. Um, the burbles on the car are the stock burbles that comes with the competition package. But I think what he's gonna do is head up north, enjoy the ride back up home, um, because now it's gonna sound good instead of sound like a little bit ricey. So, anything to say, Walter? Definitely go with the Active Auto Works recommended specs. Yeah, don't try to make your own specs. Um, I may, maybe it will work, but definitely go with the, uh, if you're going with Catalyst, go with the resonated mid pipe. And like I was telling him earlier, the equal link mid pipe allows you to basically mi mix and match whatever exhaust system you want to do. For example, he has the Mad Max, I have the AWE switch path rear end and also Miguel has the Remus rear end which if you haven't seen that video where it compares I'll link it in the description too but other than that I spent all afternoon with uh, Walter and also the guys at Euromart Performance I'm gonna head out of here he's gonna head back up north but I appreciate your time thank you and we'll maybe we'll see him at the Orlando event so definitely check that out too Orlando February 19th um, and also February 20th we have a rally which we actually are sold out for so other than that I'll see you guys in the next video peace see you